Just wanted to cover a few key aspects of layer effect control. Um, there are three key things I want to cover. One is uh, how layer effects scale with objects, how fill opacity works with layer effect opacity, and how you can also copy uh, layer effects from one object to another object. With this text here, the gold text, we'll see that um, if we go into the effects panel, we have this outline set here. Um, now if I just jump in there, and I just want to adjust this width for this outline layer effect. You can just see it change on the screen. So we're changing the, the width there, and I'm going to make it slightly bigger so it's more obvious what we're trying to do. Now I'll bring your attention just down to the bottom left of this dialog in this option called Scale with Object. Now at the moment, because it's unchecked, if I rescale uh, this text from the top right hand corner, you'll see that as I get smaller and smaller, the uh, width, the outline width, does not scale with the object resize. And similarly as you get larger, it doesn't resize either. So what you can do, I'll just do an undo there, what you can do is just check this one. I think this is on by default, but if you just bring this one in, you'll see that the outline is actually shrinking with the text size as well. Just do an undo, just get back to the normal size. Now one other thing that I wanted to tell you about was uh, fill opacity, and that's adjacent to scale with object this option here. Now currently this text has a fill which is kind of like a dark brown to light brown gradient uh, with some noise in it as well. You can see that here. And at the moment the fill opacity is showing through on the text because it's set to 100%. If I just drag this one down, you'll see that the fill of the object is slowly reducing because its opacity is reducing. And what we're left with is uh, any residual fills or properties directly from the layer effects themselves. Now if I drag this one back up there, we'll get back to full fill opacity. Okay, what I want to do is to introduce another layer and I'll just switch this one back on. And we'll have the word dust now. So I want to go back and select gold. Because it's has a whole series of properties uh, and uh, layer effects applied to them, it would be very difficult to copy these en masse one by one and try to remember all the settings. Almost impossible even. So what you can do is to select copy Set the target object to the dust text, do an edit, paste fx, and all of the properties uh, of the layer effects will be copied over to this dust style. And you can see that, we'll just click on that, you see in a shadow outline, 3D bevel, a gradient, and the same for dust. 